Okay, so one more example here of using our half angle identities. And here we're simply going to evaluate sine of the angle a over 2. We're given that cosine of a is 3 over 5. And we're also told that angle a is between 0 and 90 degrees. So that means sine of a over 2. That would be somewhere in quadrant 1. So now I'm just going to go back and use our identity. So it says for... For sine, again, it says you either get positive or negative. Well, in this case, again, we're going to use the positive one. So sine of a over 2, again, since uh, our angle was in quadrant 1, we'll use the positive square root. And then it says we would simply get 1 minus, well, cosine of a over 2. And, well, now I'm going to make use of the fact that we were given, so we were given the value of cosine of a. Cosine of a was given to us as just the value 3 fifths. So now all I have to do is just really just plug that in. So it says we'll get the square root of 1 minus 3 fifths over 2. Well in the numerator uh, you can write 1 as 5 over 5, 5 over 5 minus 3 over 5. And the numerator would leave us with 2 fifths or 2 over 5. The denominator, okay, this is all still under the square root. We can write 2 as simply 2 over 1. Well, so underneath the square root, I've got a fraction divided by a fraction. So we can write that as 2 fifths times, well, we could flip and multiply by the denominator, 1 over 2. Those would simply cancel out, and we would be left with the square root of 1 over 5. Uh, we could also take the square root of the numerator, which is 1. The square root of the denominator would just be root 5. We could also rationalize that, uh, the denominator, by multiplying top and bottom by square root of 5. And that'll simply leave us with root 5 over 5. Again, you can always uh, plug this into your calculator and get a decimal approximation. But to me, this now is a nice exact answer.